Hello guys, this is Cody. In this video, I'm going to show you three free ways to transfer Apple Music playlist to Spotify. First, it's an online web tool. It's totally free and you can convert as many songs as you like. Let's just tap start and no login required. You just need to log into your Apple Music. Of course, you can also import from iTunes files I'm, I'm just gonna log into my Apple Music account okay it's verified it will allow and then as you can see I can pretty much convert everything from my Apple Music library as you can see library songs other songs albums and artists so I'm just gonna select So I'm just gonna select this this playlist and tap the select destination. It's Spotify. So login. Okay, let's check this playlist if need be. No problem. Just start. It's converting as you see. 14 tracks, 40 tracks. It's ads free and low limit. It's totally free to use. I highly recommend this service. Okay, you can, sh you can also share this Apple Music playlist to uh, others just by tap here. Okay, this, this is the first method. The second method would be using SongShift. Well, it's only available on your iPhone, iOS device. If you're using Android, you can use Stamp. But I, I really don't like that, that software, that, that, that app, it, you can only convert the first 10 songs from one playlist. Otherwise, you need to pay the premium version. The second method would be using the SongShift. It's a free app. Of course, you can also upgrade to the paid version, $3.99. It's free to add two th it's free to add two music st streaming services, so it's uh, it's enough to uh, just transfer music between Apple Music and Spotify. So I'm just tap to set up source. It's uh, Apple Music. It's just uh, it's like a playlist. It's like a playlist. Discovery Weekly, 13 songs. Let's select it. Let's select Destination Spotify. I already collected. So add to existing playlist or new playlist. Just create a new playlist. Yes, I'm finished. Just tap on it. Alright. Let's check on it. You see here the, the broken heart just, just transferred and transferred from the first method to my music. Let's let's talk about the third method. Well this is using shortcuts as you know I really love using shortcuts this really take me some time to create this shortcut well at, at first I couldn't figure out how the Spotify authorization works so I asked this question on reddit and with with some great help from from this gentleman so I I cr I finished this shortcut. Now I'm gonna share with you. Well, the setup is uh, it's kind of it's kind of complicated. If you don't want to uh, follow the setup, you just uh, just go to Spotify developer account and uh, go to the developer.spotify.com/console to get the get the token and just tap here be sure to select this two option request token and then you will get the, the Spotify token that and you copy copy the token into this shortcut just add a text text action here and you paste it here then you can run this sh shortcut 
Of course, you also need to uh, paste your user, user's ID here. Paste your user's ID here. That's that's all the setup. Then you can run this shortcut to transfer music from Apple Music to Spotify. I'm just de delete this one. So just to run it. Now I can create a new playlist or add music to my existing Spotify playlist. Let's just uh, add to the existing playlist. Why only two playlists? This is it to the... Now I can select my Apple Music playlist. Let's choose the, this one. Tap down. Then it automatically select all the songs from this playlist. You can uncheck some of them. Let's tap down. Well, this may take some time. Okay, it's done. No errors. But well, this actually adds all the matched songs to one playlist in one API call. Well, according to Spotify, this uh, sometimes may come to a problem when you transfer more than a hundred songs. So in that case, you may want to add one song in one API call. So, so you, you need to change the edit the shortcut like like this one. This actually transfer a music one song f to from one API. I can just call. Let's add the, this this action into the repeat. So let me just simply run this shortcut. Well, you see this just adds three songs to a new playlist. I forget to this. Uh, I forget to include action the. The option to choose the playlist so this just uh, automatically ch ch choose this playlist and the create the uh, playlist name the test create a test playlist this is the playlist name and description okay let's talk about the the setup first you need to get this Spotify authorization shortcut well here just co copy or uh, paste your spotify client id here as you see here test you run this and you also need to uh, here's the redirect url and here is the client secret is go to the spotify developer account and uh, Get the client ID and client secret. After that, you just uh, run this shortcut, and you, it will bring you the web page and where you can log into your Spotify account. Login. I already log in, so I don't don't need to enter this. So it will bring this is bring you the the redirect, and you need to copy the. The characters behind the code and select okay to here you see the and tap co copy and then you go back to shortcut tap down okay it generates a file and generates uh, access token and refresh token and saved to the files app iCloud here this one Spotify credentials oh because I didn't enter the client secrets so I didn't get the refresh code and the access code well, you, you need to get this right. All right. With that set up, you, then you can, I got this refresh access token shortcut. You just need to also paste your client ID here and cash 
and client secret below. When I, you can just simply run this shortcut. You just, you can just uh, get this down, get this client ID and client secret, paste it here, and that's a sort of a sort of setup actually. Well, if you still have some problem, let's sh you just check this post. It's, I have the detailed setups. I think you can understand. Well, that's uh, pretty much it. The setup is uh, really complicated. Well, after the setup, then you can do many things actually. You can actually convert the text, the text to a Spotify playlist, free text to Apple Music playlist. Just add a text. Add a text and then you enter text here and split, split text. Split text here. Then you can run this shortcut to a Convert free text to Spotify playlist. Hope you find it helpful. If you subscribe, I really appreciate if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, see you guys.